What we're going to look at now is depreciation and appreciation. Depreciation and appreciation might be unfamiliar terms in the sense of maths, but you'll see they have quite nice applications. Appreciation, for example, in real life is to get a sense of the value of something, to appreciate it. Well, in a similar sense in maths, to appreciate something is to is for it to increase by a certain amount. You might almost say philosophically that you can only really appreciate something when you get the full value of something. Let's do a few calculations. Let's say we have 500 pounds in the bank account and it's going to appreciate by appreciate by 2% after one year. After one year. Appreciation is very similar to compound interest and I've done a video on that if you want to check that one out. Appreciate means the 2% we need to find first and then we'll add that on to the 500 and it will have appreciated by 2%. But how to find 2% of 500? First, find 1% by dividing by 100. 500 divided by 100 is, if you move the decimal place, it started at the end, it goes left by 1 when you divide by 10, it goes left by 1 again when you divide by 100, so we have 5.00, which equals 5. 1% of 500 is 5. 1% times by 2 equals 2%, so 5 pounds in this case times by 2 is going to be 10 pounds, times by 2 equals 10 pounds. And that means that we will have 10 pounds more than we started with, which equals 510 pounds. Our amount has appreciated by 2%, bringing it to 510. We now fully understand and appreciate its full value. Depreciation is very similar and you can express it like this. Let's say a car has a value of $20,000 and it depreciates by 3% each year. 3% each year. It's probably more than that but let's be modest. 3% each year. And let's also change the colour to something more car-like. Which would be maybe a kind of a grey, perhaps, a silver. OK. Depreciates. Yeah, didn't quite spell that one. Depreciates. There we go. Now, what we can do this time is we can use the calculator method. If something's gone down by 3% and it started off with 100% of its value, when you first bought the car it had all its value still there. It was still worth $20,000. Now we've taken off 3% for the first year. What percentage has it got left? It's got 97% of its value after one year. To find 97% using a calculator, we multiply the amount by 0 0.97, which is 97% as a decimal. $20,000 times by 0 0.97 is 19,400. So after one year, it's worth 19,400. The quick way to calculate the remaining years is just times by 0 0.97 again. After another year, we have 18,818. And after one more year, we have 18,253. This shows you the power of depreciation and fully appreciating something.